Hey guys, how to video game here and today I'm going to be telling a story. Um, I've been saving this story for a while and it's one of my best stories I have and I didn't want to like waste it. Um, but I feel like I had to give you guys something real good because I was gone and then I didn't upload for another week and Ugh, you know, I, I'm sorry guys, I was being tired and lazy and playing Terraria and programming and I've been doing all kinds of stuff and uh, I've been really busy. Uh, I haven't really had much time to actually make videos, but don't worry, I'll keep making them. Uh, I'm not gonna stop as long as I did last time. It might be like four or five days in between each video, maybe two or three as well. It depends on when it is, but I promise I'll keep uploading consistently enough that you guys will have content to watch uh, at least once or twice a week. But anyways, I'm gonna get right into this story. Uh, this is kind of an insane story. It's about this time I was probably in second or third grade and uh, It's about the time that some guy threatened to beat my parents ass because uh, I accidentally uh, did something But um, I'll explain the story. I don't want to spoil it. So here we go All right, so I'll start this off by explaining why I was at a hotel So uh, my sister used to play soccer and they would have like tournament things and I would always have to go with and we would stay in a hotel for the like, like probably the whole weekend and we would just sit there and stay there and I had a few friends who were like my sister's uh, teammates brothers and uh, we were pretty good friends and we were swimming around in the pool at the hotel and then this happened so we were swimming around we were playing like pool basketball because they had a cool basketball hoop and by the way guys this was a really nice hotel I don't know why they had such little kids going to a hotel that was this nice for like a soccer tournament but it was really nice Nice. They had like a chocolate fountain, the pool went outside, it had like a little waterfall, it had like these huge statues of like the mascot of the hotel or whatever. It was really cool and it was really, really nice. But they had, for basketballs, they didn't have actual basketballs. They had those like four square balls that are like inflated and they bounce a lot and they kind of like fly everywhere if you kind of like punch them and stuff if you catch my drift. But even though this hotel was so nice and it seemed like they would have plenty of things for everyone they only had like three or so of those balls in this pool that had probably like 50 people in it so they were very very coveted and everyone wanted one of these balls to play with because you know like who doesn't want a freaking four square ball to play with in the pool that's lit fam so this kid comes over me and my friends are playing with one and this kid comes over and he tries to grab the ball and steal it from me and you know i'm in second grade what do you expect me to do like just give him the ball no this is my ball i'm not giving you my ball what the heck man so what I decided to do was to push the ball underwater and try and pull it away from him. But, since physics are a thing, and it was an inflated ball, when I pushed it under the water, it slipped out of my hand and it shot straight up super fast and hit this kid right in the face. And this kid was like, in shock. He didn't know what to do. He like gave me this terrible look and then ran away and he looked like he was about to cry. And I felt terrible, so I just started yelling at him. I was like, dude, dude, wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't try to hit you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? You know, me, like, the typical second grader, uh, you know, like, try to apologize really quickly. You know, that kind of thing. But, uh, it didn't work. He just kept running. So, we assumed that, uh, he was going to do something. We didn't know really where he was going. We assumed he would be fine, though, and he wouldn't bother us anymore. And we were done with him. So, uh, we continued playing with our pool ball. We uh, were having fun, and then like 20 minutes later, this kid comes back over to us, and we see him pointing at us from the side of the pool. And it took us a second, but we realized he was pointing at us to show someone else who was behind him, who was very large and scary looking and angry. And uh, we were scared. So uh, this guy who was behind him, he... He yells at us, he's like, GET OUT OF HERE RIGHT NOW! And we're like, oh, okay, 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 we're coming, we're coming. So we get up and we walk over to the guy, and uh, we walk up to the kid, and I one more time, I'm like, dude, are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you like that. And he was like, yeah, <laughs> you know, he didn't like say anything, he just kind of like, let his dad do his thing. And uh, here's, here's what happened. Also, side note, this guy was freaking huge. We thought he was a pro wrestler, and that's why we called him the pro from now on, hence the name of that story. We thought he was a freaking pro wrestler. This guy was like giant. He was like ripped. He was huge. He was probably like 500 pounds of pure muscle. He was terrifying. And as soon as we got over there to talk to him, and his son was like, whatever, and I had apologized, this guy just starts going off. And let me please remind you, we were in second grade. And I didn't even hit him. 
And this kid, this guy, this kid told his dad that we punched him. Because... For some reason, he thought that the ball hitting him was my fist hitting him right in the bottom of the chin and punching like an uppercut. And this dad is just going off on us. He's like, I'm going to find your parents if you ever lay a hand on my kid again, and I'm going to beat their asses. And he was just going off. He was pissed. He was like ready to murder us. He was like so mad. He was like threatening to like beat up our parents and find our room. And it was terrifying, and we were so scared. We were in second grade. And this guy was crazy. He could probably get, like, freaking arrested for this if this, like, happened today. But, I don't know. It was pretty crazy. This guy was, like, mad because he thought we had punched his kid. And we were like, we didn't touch your kid. What are you talking about? But, you know, the kid was, like, freaking invincible to his dad. Like, it, it, the, the dad would never think that the kid would ever lie about anything. So, I mean, you know, why would his cute little baby ever lie to him about something like that? I mean, really. But, um... Yeah, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy moment in my life. Uh, probably one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me, especially since I was in second grade when it happened. And that seems like the worst thing that could ever happen when you're in second grade, so... I mean, yeah, that's that's the end of the story, I guess. And, uh, hope you guys never have to experience anything as crazy as that, because it was terrifying and haunted my dreams for years and years and years. So yeah, make sure you smack that like button or I'll come and find your parents and beat their asses. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, make sure you smack that like button as well as subscribe for more stories like this as well as other Let's Talk videos and that kind of thing. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video and have a friggity fantastic day.